as we know that presently the breast and the uh, cervical cancers are the leading cancers in women but the ovarian cancers constitutes around 60000 new cases are diagnosed every year in india uh, and most of them are diagnosed in an unfortunately in an advanced stage of the disease and it is estimated by the icmr that at least uh, there can be an increase by around 50% by 2035 or it may be due to the lack of any screening procedures as we have got today to identify these people in an early stage but all women should be educated regarding the symptoms uh, of ovarian cancer uh, symptoms linked with the ovarian cancer those who have got a, a family history that is in their first degree or a second degree relatives having a ovarian cancer or developing a breast cancer in their family those women should be identified and those women should be uh, screened or uh, look for the any genetic alterations which are occur in them so that no we can uh, we can uh, counsel the family regarding any risk reduction surgeries like removing the ovary prophylactically without even Uh, before the tumor develops in the ovary uh, so by doing this one uh, we will be able to identify uh, people in this high risk group and uh, uh, treat them at an early stage so that you no know, uh, we can prevent the mortality to talk specifically to ovarian cancer the lifestyle changes which to be required are a woman if she gets married should have a first child before the age of 30 years second is uh, 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 using some oral contraceptive even for a short period of time is going to reduce the risk of ovarian cancer some of the studies have shown and third is uh, after the family is completed going for a tubal ligation may also be one method of reducing the detection uh, det- uh, reducing the incidence of ovarian cancer so this and a woman having a breastfeeding also reduces the risk of uh, ovarian cancer Uh, as we see that most of the ovarian cancer patients requires uh, a radical surgery or an ultra radical surgery which involves uh, resection of most of the organs also so these patients requires later on an uh, uh, observation in an intensive care unit for them to recover so in the present scenario of the pandemic what i feel is uh, getting a bed in an icu is a major issue so we have strategized uh, in this group of people where we give some new adjuvant chemotherapy by which we can buy some time and also we will be able to control the disease and downstage the disease also uh, and uh, so that uh, we will be waiting for the peak of the pandemic to be flattened so that we can go to that ultra radical surgery at the right time without compromising the overall outcome of the patient so that is what we are strategizing in most of the patients in ovarian cancer particularly we can't wait for the uh, pandemic to flatten here we have to do some treatment by which we are not compromising in the ultimate overall outcome of our patients that is what i would uh, say to our patient that uh, don't get fear and uh, stop coming to the hospital come diagnose it so that we have got different strategies to treat one day i am sure that in the coming uh, uh, few years the type of advances occurring in the terms of immunotherapy targeted therapy and the personalized medicine i am sure that ovarian cancer will be one of those cancers which can be treated and cured